Hey, Doctor Stone here for Doc Sports. It is Tuesday, December the 15th, as I see here over here in the calendar. And we have more free plays for you today. Hope you've been around for the free plays. They've been doing quite well again. Hit five out of the last six. Had the uh, had a college basketball winner. If you went to my page Monday, so that's that was another winner. And uh, so and had a number of winners recently in in football. So that was good, along with a little bit of college basketball to boot. Uh, myself personally on football over the weekend, I w had a winning record by record, but lost based on units. Some of my big plays didn't come through. It's been rare this year, but you know, didn't come through. Uh, I didn't have a seven unit play. Uh, the six units uh, didn't win. And then the five unit play, well, it was good and bad. Well, not good, but it was it was bad and worse. The five unit play, of course, was on Cleveland uh, last night. And we all know what happened uh, there. Uh, when I gave it out on Thursday, it was only at plus two. I, like probably many of you, had plus three. A lot of people on Baltimore. I get it. I, but you know, um, <laughs> don't even know what to say, frankly. It just, just was one of those deals. And uh, I firmly believe fate has as much to do with the outcome as anything. Just seemed like it was kind of meant to be with Jackson coming in, how, how it worked out. But you know what? That game's over. It's water under the bridge. Football's coming ahead, plowing ahead this next week. And we got college basketball. And today I got a five unit best bet along with two other plays that you can pick up for just $30 at Docs today. I'm on a seven and two run in college basketball the last two weeks, excuse me, the last week. And uh, that's, you know, that's only nine plays over seven days. Well, you know what? Early season, I never force plays. Okay. I just take, take it slow and easy. Uh, uh, watch as much basketball as I can, read about as much the different stats and things that I can. That's just my style. Uh, generally works for me. And right now it's off to a very good start just overall. So we're going to try and keep building on that tonight with, like I say, a five-unit best bet and two other plays for just $30 at Ducks. And speaking of basketball, let's get to today's free play. And this play was this close to being on the list as a fourth play just couldn't couldn't quite do it, but I still like the game quite a bit. Okay, so Indy, uh, it's uh, St. Louis is playing Indiana State. Now Indiana State uh, might be considered a tempting pick in some ways because they just lost to Purdue as twelve point uh, as uh, excuse me fifteen point underdogs by just twelve points. Uh, now, but St. Louis to me they look like they're on a mission yet again. Okay, Travis Ford is their coach. They are four and zero straight up and against the spread. And the, though the Billikens have only played one really quality opponent so far, and that was LSU, but they got the job done. And the thing that I really like about the Billikens in this spot is their defense has been fantastic. They are averaging 20, they're averaging forcing 21 turnovers a game. And when you do that, you get an opportunity to convert those into easy baskets and you cover point spreads, okay, when you have that many turnovers. The Billikens come into this one 12-4 and four against the spread in non-conference action, and they're 19-7 and seven against the number at home. If they have successfully covered three or more consecutive games, let's have St. Louis to take down Larry Bird's alma mater uh, by a score, by winning by 16 or more points. All right, so... We're going to take St. Louis, minus 13 against Indiana State. So there's your free play for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another. Don't forget, five-unit best bet goes today. This is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until Wednesday, I'm out.